Hey guys, TSL here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video we are finally back in our how to make a game like Superpower Training Simulator series. In today's video I will finally be showing you guys how you can make your very own teleporting power. So now this teleporting power will be based off of the amount of psychic power that we have. And yeah, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make a remote event in replicated storage and we will call it TP, all capitals, and then go into service script surface and find your power event script. Can close out all of these other functions for our other powers. And I'll show you guys how to make this function, local function teleport. So now, uh, before we do that, make sure that you well connect the on server event to a function that we will make called TP. I already have this made, but let me comment that out. Or actually, we'll just leave it like that. But, anyways, local function TP standing for teleport. This will take in the player, which it automatically takes from a remote event on server event, and it will take in the mouse position. Next thing we want to do is set a local radius variable. This will be the max radius that the player can teleport to. And now the max in the game is going to be like, I think it's 200 to 300. And that's just so that you can't just teleport infinitely. But other than that, if your teleportation or if your psychic divided by 10,000 is less than 200, then we'll just use that. Anyway, so we'll just do radius is equal to player dot psp dot value divided by 10,000 let's check if the radius is greater than 200 then our radius will be equal to 200 next thing we want to do is get our local char which will be equal to our player dot character and a local hrp variable which will be equal to char colon find first child humanoid root part. Next just make sure that our humanoid root part exists so if not HRP then return end. This will just exit out of our function if we don't have a humanoid root part. Then we'll do HRP.CFrame is equal to CFrame dot look at and we'll do HRP.CFrame comma vector 3 dot new mouse pause also this should be position so if our mouse position minus r if our mouse position minus our humanoid root part dot position the magnitude of this if it's less than or equal to our radius then we can just set the humanoid root part dot position equal to mouse pause and otherwise that means that we exceeded our radius, so we want to cap it. So we'll do hrp dot position plus equals our mouse pause minus hrp dot unit multiplied by our radius. All right, and that should be it for our teleport function. So now make sure that you connect it if you haven't already. And now what we'll need to do is going to our starter player starter player scripts powers local script scroll all the way down to the bottom and we'll just check if our key is equal to v then we just want to do rs which is our replicated storage variable and we want to get the tp event from it and we want to fire the server on our mouse.hit.position now the reason we need to pass in the mouse position is because we can't access it from the server even if we use it even if we use the player variable that gets passed automatically, we still can't access it. So now if we go ahead and play the game. And let's take a look at our stats real quick. Say so we get some more psychic. So now we're at 512 uh, DC. Just because of my super overpowered class. Also, don't worry about these errors. This is just because of the game pass. Since this is a new place than what I made the game passes in, I need to update the game pass IDs. All right, anyways, back here, if we go ahead and click V, you see we teleport. 
Teleport, teleport, but you see the thing is we can just spam teleport and we could basically fly with this teleport. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. What's over here? We're finally going to discover Roblox's secrets. Or not. Alright, well, anyways, that is how you make that, but let's just make sure that we can't spam this. So, down here, or actually, we should make this in our Powers event script itself. So, if we go ahead and into our Power event script, we can have a local TP debounce is equal to false false and then right here check if tp debounce then and this should be not tp or actually this can be if tp debounce then return or we could just do here wait how about Let's have a five second cooldown and let's do task dot wait five seconds and we'll do TP debounce is equal to false and return. And then down here we'll just set TP debounce is equal to true. All right, and now we should be able to not spam it. So if we save this, hit play, check our psychic. 256 DC, that's enough. All right, we can't spam it. You can probably hear me clicking my key, but it won't work. And if we wait, then it is doing its thing and it is allowing us to spam it now, but then it stops. Interesting, but let's try to fix it. Maybe if we try setting our TP debounce equal to true all the way up here, maybe that will help it. All right, so go from here, teleport here, keep spamming the V key and let's just teleport up. All right, and yeah, we still can't spam it until we can't. Maybe we can instead do a timer. This will probably make it so that it's less likely that that will malfunction. So we could do local time between TP is equal to no. We can delete this for now, but we can say if time between TP then If we have one, then what we want to do is check that it's less than five seconds away, or more, I should say. All right, so if time between TP minus, or if OS dot time minus time between TP is greater than or equal to five, then or if not that, then we'll just return. And yeah, we shouldn't have to do anything else other than at the, right here, I guess, we can just do time between TP is equal to OS dot time. And we can remove this and try this. Touch 
teleport, spam the key. Alright, we're actually getting an error. If not os.time minus time between TP. I guess if it's. I guess we can do if it's less than or equal to. or if it's just less than 5. Like that, then we'll return. Let's try that. Alright, yeah, now we're not getting the error. And we can't spam it. Alright, perfect. So if you guys need an explanation for this, then basically what's happening is here, we're checking the current time. This returns the current time in seconds. And this is either nil over here, but we check that it's not nil. So this is the last time that we fired our teleport. So every time after we check this, every time we teleport, we set the time between teleports to equal to the current time that one we're teleporting. So then we up here we check if the current time minus the time between teleports is less than five seconds. If it is, then we just want to cancel out of our function. So that's just basically what we did there. All right, guys. Well, that is how you make the teleport power in Super Power Training Simulator. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below. Now, guys, this series will be ending shortly, but we will have more series to come, so make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on those videos. Anyways, see you. Bye.